Let's so get we, into the main topic here. Yeah. Let's talk about this. This is exciting. So Jay twisted my arm on this, but yeah, I actually thought it might be helpful. We've got some tips coming up here on how to book RV sites. And uh, I spelled sites wrong on the, uh, yeah, anyway, it's S-I-T-E-S, but eh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so I think I did that. You know, if, you, if you've been living <laughs> under a rock, you don't know. But for the rest of you, for those of you that listen to this program, everybody's buying an RV now, and it's getting harder and harder to get a good RV site. So for our listeners, just, you know, us, just between us, right? I've got our super secret pro tips on ways to get the sites that you want. There's some good stuff in here, and I've actually got... Uh, kind of a bonus at we'll, we'll put it at the end but it's gonna have it's gonna have a whole other uh, it's gonna be game changing not just from booking campsites but for any RV service that you might need this is kind of a one-stop shop I'll give you that information coming up here in just a little bit um, so should we just get into this Jay Let's let's dive right in. I think it's appropriate. Right. Yes. So now you know some of the tricks that we use because you've heard the conversations going down the road of, you know, like if, you know, sometimes we, we wing it. And, uh, you know, you've heard me talk to mom about what to ask and all that. Yep. So now these are, these are some of my strategies. Everybody kind of has their own preference and way of doing things. Th these are things that have worked well for me. Um, People, we've we've talked we've talked about this in previous podcasts. When you talk about RV camping, everybody has kind of a different version of that that they like. Like some people like, well, I want to camp next to the beach with a you know or a big pool or whatever, and I don't mind that I'm like five feet from my neighbor. I'm more of a fan of having some some privacy, a little bit of nature in between me and the site next to me. Um, but but that's just us, right? Like that's what I value. So these things that we're going to talk about should work for you regardless of what your preference on some of those things are. Um, so the first thing that I will tell you that I love to do, and this is probably what I will do first, is if we're going to pick an area and go to that area, um, you know, I'll, I'll go open Google Maps. Not Google, Google Maps, okay, which you can get to and on a web type browser. In Maps.google.com, yeah. or you can, if you have the app right. on your smartphone, yep. And then you type in large pools. Right. Uh, golf car friendly, <laughs> or, no. Uh, so <laughs> that comes later. So I'll use some ter search terms, and I'm going to give you those. I use RV campground, RV park, and campground. And I usually do them in that order. The problem with putting campground down is that you may get some tent only. Uh, type places which we can't fit in okay so you know what you search on as jay knows keywords matter so i i tend to use the word the rv camp rv camping rv park rv campground all right right google's gonna right. show me in that area that i'm searching on let's say it's you know i don't know albuquerque new mexico right because i want to hear america the beautiful on the rumble strips then I'm going to see little 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 pins <laughs> dropped on the map, and I will typically click on those. I'll read the reviews. I'll look at how many star ratings, and then we'll go into the amenities that they will typically list: swimming pools, pet friendly, you know. Yeah, dog park. Dog park. It's another good one. Okay, uh, the Google reviews are typically less influenced by the property themselves, meaning, you know that's somebody that's going to leave an honest opinion without fear of recourse, right? Does that make sense? Right. The anonymity is is pretty high level. Yeah, I mean if you go to their Google, website, right. if you go to the campground's website, you read those are biased reviews, you know, that that's they're that's just right. picking and choosing what they want you to see. Right, um, right, right. The other thing that I will typically do while I'm on the Google Maps app. Now again, Google Maps, you can get to it from a web browser. You can also get to it on your smartphone if you have the Maps app. Is 
there's pictures, and I was trying to explain this to my wife the other day. I'm like, okay, tap on the little pin, open up that location, and then there, Google Maps will show you pictures that people have contributed, meaning, you know, if I have a smartphone and I take a picture in that area and I allow Google to use that, I'll tag it with that location and they'll post it, right? So mm -hmm. yep. look at the uh, user contributed images, meaning these weren't taken by the park. These are honest images taken by people. Just see what it looks like, right? Like if there's a big dumpster fire going on next door or a meat processing plant or, you know, a salvage yard, right. you know, you probably want to stay away from that. But just look at some of the photos on the Google Maps app. Does that does that make sense? It absolutely does. I I tend to do that. Like it's no different than going and looking at a hotel. You want to see what the rooms look like, and mm -hmm. um, you want to see what the breakfast area looks like. Um, yep. You know the pool, and, and do they have laundry facilities? How yep. clean is the area? You know. So yeah, it's a it's a definitely a great uh, point and a feature that is available for you to 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 use to 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 look at those sorts of things. So and it's a good point there for sure. So something that Jay and I did together, and this is my next tip, is I'll then pull open in Google Maps the satellite view. So you know if you're not by default, if you don't have the satellite view set, take a look at the satellite view and see what it looks like. You know. Um, just to the naked, you know, well, not to the naked eye, but, you know, in, in, in IRL, in real life, right? Like, is there on that satellite, how close are those sites together? Is there shade, if that matters mm -hmm. to you? Is there, you know, what amenities can you see, you know, uh, from, from the satellite? Jay was scoping out some sites for me near him about a month ago. And he gave me, you know, mm -hmm. we talked about some site numbers, and then I pulled open the satellite view to, to try to look at them to see what they look like. So, you know, what kind of foliage is around them? Uh, foliage? Foliage? Foliage. Sorry. Foliage. Yeah. Foliage if you're cooking on the grill. Yeah, sorry. Foliage if you're standing in the bushes. That, yes. That's it. Uh, <laughs> and, and that's a good help. Um, and then, and I mentioned this earlier, but but in, in a positive way, go to the, that's, that place they have if they have a website go check it out right i usually mm -hmm. do that last and i'll look at the amenities they list um if they right. don't have contact num info on their website like a phone number or an email contact or if they don't have a website those are usually places you want to avoid like i i don't know that i would trust a campground that doesn't have a website that's right and um you know it and uh, like keith had said if 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 you have somebody on the ground, feet on the ground that live in the area, mm -hmm. and it's not too much trouble for them to get out and kind of go scope it out for you and get their opinion on it, um, or you know, simply just you can do a video chat while that's happening and you can get your own assessment of it if that person has the capability of doing that for you. So, those are good points. Um, you know, something I want to bring up is this: that so you you bring you know this is all about RVing, RV lifestyle. So. These are tips that are for you as an RVer that's driving that motor home and you want to make sure you've got room to pull in the the, the pull in or pull outs or whatever they have. What do you call those things? Slips? Yeah, sites. Slips or so that's a good point sites, though. Uh, if you're driving a motor home and you're towing a, a car tow, a lot of those dinghies, as they call them, you can't back up and those people mm -hmm. like to have pull throughs. Now, I don't care. I can back up. But if that matters to you, you know, that'll be listed on the site, whether they're pull throughs or back ends. That does seem to be a big right. deal to a lot of people. It's never bothered me. I don't mind backing in. Yeah. Uh, and, and the other thing I wanted to bring up is that let's just say you're a person that's very, very interested in getting into RVing. Okay. And you haven't, you're, and you want to check out some sites that you might, once you get your RV, you don't have one yet that you might want to go see. Some of these places actually offer cabins mm -hmm. that you can rent on site. And I say take advantage of it. Instead of staying at a hotel, go stay at the RV park because then you get the feel of the quality of service that you're going to get out of the, the management there um, and then how, the, how, how well the ship runs, basically. Good point. That, that's very true. There's The place that we're at right now has two different kinds. They have cabins, which is just the traditional, con what, what you would think, right? Like like you know, Jay, like you were probably thinking of. And then they actually have RVs. Um, and the last two or three places that we've stayed ha have offered this where they're just furnished RVs. So they're just there all the time. 
They clean them out mm-hmm. just like a hotel room after the previous guest leaves. So you don't have to pull an mm-hmm. RV to the campground. You can just rent one of theirs that's already there on property. A lot of times they're Airstreams. That is the, that is a great alternative, Keith. Don't you yeah. think? Yeah. I mean, it it gives you yeah, because this. let's face it. Let's let's you know let's be honest with our listeners. And I think most people that do RV already to some degree realize that it's a chore. It's a there's work involved. Um, preparation is part of that. But once you get to the site. Um, you've got to unload. You got to back in. You got to unhook. You got you know. There's so many things, and then then you've got side shot uh, playing games. Who's got you know? Where's my Wi-Fi? Hey, where's the pool? Yeah. Where's the pool? You know that sort of stuff going on. So, um, I say take dry runs, man, as much as you possibly can before you dive into these things. But these are some really really great tips, man. So so speaking um, of work heed. to be done. I'm going to tease this a little bit. Um, We have a video coming up soon. We're we're about to do this work this week, so this video will come out later. Um, And if you want to find out about this, the best way to do that, go over on the YouTube side, youtube.com forward slash parts counter gurus. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell. I'm trying to not say ring the bell, but whatever, man. Teach their own, right? Leave us a comment. Yeah. And you will be notified when this video comes out. We are about to install. This is in two parts. You can hold yours up. This is a Wi-Fi Ooh. range extender, and this one actually goes on the roof. These are made by King. Here, I'll hold it in front of your face. And I'm, yeah, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> so this is a cell signal. Let me see if I can get it in front of the camera here. Booster made for RVs. Okay, this is the best one out there on the market. And for those fringe areas where you need connectivity, because not all of us that work from home actually work from a home that doesn't have wheels on it, if you catch my drift. Um, right. And and so we're going to install this. We're going to we're going to review it, but we're also going to take you through the install process. It comes in two parts. Oh, awesome. This goes on the inside. This is the Wi-Fi router with a range extender. And then there's an external antenna. That was the big box I was just holding up. So stay tuned for that. That's it's coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to hearing about how well that works. Um, and that's an alternative to what's going to be becoming available. And we talked about this a uh, couple podcasts yep. ago with the Elon Musk Starlink. Yep. Sometimes you got to um, have options. You've, you got to diversify. That's right. So, uh, you know, hopefully that Starlink will come to fruition as far as what they say that it's going to mm-hmm. be capable of doing. And everybody on the planet can have access to it. So we'll see. If, if that's the case, man, Elon Musk, I know he's already rich, man, but poof. Hey. He may, he you may give me internet out in you know, the middle of the know, Grand Canyon. I'll, I'll, I'll sign up, dude. Uh, you're, I'm pay, I'm buying. Yeah, so, I'm buying. So a couple more things, as promised. Here at the end, I'm going to give you my my gold mine of my super secret, uh, you know, way of finding these sites. But I have a couple more. So another one. Speaking of our YouTube channel, we have a Garmin GPS. Uh, it's made for RVs. It's the Garmin 780. I think it's an RV 780. We did a review on it. You can find that on our YouTube channel. It is so great in terms of all the RV-centric features that it has. Um, You know, you can find RV-only services like, you know, truck stops or gas stations that are large enough for you to pull into. You can tell it your weight limit and how many axles and it will route you around low clearance areas or roads that are under your load limit and you know route you out of like narrow streets and that sort of stuff so it's really handy i love that thing i wasn't sure i was gonna care for it but it has become my go-to for trip planning in this in this rv yeah and and it's such a um it's a targeted uh, audience that they they manufacture those for yeah um and if you're an avid rver like 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 uh, keith and family are it makes sense to have that because then you're not digging in the weeds driving around this is it is specific to your needs like you said with the axles number of axles and weights and um you know rv specific uh pull-ins where that you know like i would assume restaurant they they probably even highlight restaurants that have rv parking out back for you right they have you can find rv you can find campgrounds you can find free uh like bureau of land management like you know no hookups or anything Mm -hmm. but just like if you wanted to overnight uh, they have overnighting yeah. options, uh, you know, places to eat for sure. 
Um, it does traffic. I mean, just you know what? Go go check out the review. We'll take you through. That's great. It. It's out yeah. there on our website. That's great. That's a good. That is a very well done uh, video that you did. Um, that you guys shot, and uh, it's very informative. Um, and I'm, it's gotten a lot of great responses and, and views and likes on that. So good job on that. So and you can uh, you can you can purchase that on our website. Go to Park County. Yeah, there's a link to it. Right. Yep. There's a link to it. Yeah. So check it out. So so what else we got, Keith? All right. So this let's, one. Let's talk about now, if, uh, if you've been in the uh, if you've been if you've been in the RV industry at all, you're going to know about this. Mm -hmm. But just in case some of right. you don't, these have been around since I was a kid. Um, go ahead and hold yep. it up. Side shots holding it up now. This is the Good Sam book. You can find these at uh, Camping World, pretty much any Camping World. They, if you're a Good yep. Sam member, they run about ten bucks. It's it's here. I they, wonder if AAA. Yeah. I wonder if AAA offers those as well. Uh, Keith. I don't know. I know that Camping World has always been the easy place to get them. I mean, they the go to. Just, yeah. yeah. Now this one's a couple yeah. years old. It's a 2019. You can see Jay. Yeah. It's as big as an old Yellow Pages. It's thick, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, and yeah. so w what they do, I'm, I'm waiting for a side shot to whack me on the head with this thing, it, just for you know comedic, you know comedy relief. <laughs> but it's a they, it can, and it's a booster seat as well. Yes, right, right. So you can. It's organized by state. Okay, like if I open this up, here's Florida. That might be where we are. It may not. You never know. Um, and then you know they'll do it by regions in the state. And then it has campground reviews. Here I'll show you a page. Here this is uh, Fort Myers, huh? How about that? Just happen to open to that page. Imagine that. And it lists, mm. you know, amenities and uh, uh, ratings and whether they're, you know, Good Sam member, which means you get a little bit of a discount. And you know, it'll have contact info, phone number. A lot of times we'll use that as we're going down the road. Um, and then, of course, they always show you a map, and they'll put, you know, of the state, and they'll put here. You got it. And they'll put. Um, little bullets or markers where the campsites are so yeah thank you very much yep and that's that's very informative for for, for folks if you're looking for monuments uh land like you said landmarks yep um you know points of interest and those sorts of things because most people who are rving that's what they're out there doing they're they're discovering uh <laughs> hey am i gonna have to stop this rv turn it around <laughs> yeah right uh yeah so yeah, yeah. It's, i mean it's worth having there if you're a good sam member they're 10 bucks i mean it's you know they come out every year. Yeah, I mean, I can't uh, believe that you get that amount of paper for ten dollars. Right. You know, uh, with all that print, it's got to cost them a fortune to put that thing out. And um, you know, I mean, it's in a pinch. You know, you know, if you're out in an area where there's no cell phone service, you go to this. It's just not bad to have. Right. So you got you have a you have a secret weapon down there at the bottom. The the all the, right. the last thing there. The, that, so here's my weapon? ultimate secret weapon. You're, now you're. Your secret sauce? Several of the things that we have mentioned uh, previously have have access to this feature. So that Garmin GPS has a Plan RV Services little app module on it. You can go to, and we'll put the we'll put the link to the website in the in the description in the comments, and then we'll put it on our mentioned on the podcast page. So just go to partscounterguru.com, click on the mentioned on the podcast tab, and we'll put a link to this. But it's Plan RV Services, okay? Now, if, if it's planrv.com, but here's why this is so cool. Because again, if I'm, I'm driving down the road with that Garmin and I tap on Plan RV Services, I can then say, I just want to see campgrounds or show me truck stops or, hey, I need to find a dump station because, uh, you know, we're full, right? Shit is <laughs> or full. Whatever, right? Yeah. So, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so <sorry. laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah. So, so. It's great because it's an all-in-one resource. And you can also go to their website and you can go, well, I need new tires for an RV or I need, you know, service of some sort. I need somebody to do the work. Right. And it will help you that find... That is golden. Yes. Mm. Every, in, not just RV spots, not just campsites, but service centers, truck stops. If you need propane, looking for a place that can refill my propane, you know, that's a common one. They'll, they, they have those listed. Um, and so... That is, I have found to be just a, it's an easy first stop, if you will, if I'm looking for something. Um, I mean, you know, I've got the website up here. I mean, you can do it by state, right? Um, or you can put yeah. in a zip code. And then it, literally the drop down, mobile repair service, tire shop, RV park, AAA discounts, 
Corps of Army Engineers Park, Good Sam Park, KOA Park, National Forest Campsites. I mean, I mean, it's just on and on, right? Dump stations, yeah. uh, rest areas, air conditioning service, uh, parking lots. I mean, come on, man. Awesome. I mean, truck wash. You want to yeah. wash your rig? There you go. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, that's just, uh, yeah, because a lot of times, you know, why is that handy? Well, if before you pull in, let's say yeah. you're going to be where you're at for two weeks, right? You know, you're you've been out on the road. You got a lot of grime. You want to get some of that stuff off of there and kind of polish it up before you pull in, and you know, and then um, wash it maybe when you leave or something. So that's right. pretty important, right? Right. Good stuff, man. Yeah, man. You so, know, so plan RV uh, services again. We'll put a link to that, but that's a good one if you're if you're you know looking for a resource to help you find these locations now. I'm going to just mention one other thing in closing, and this is kind of another one of my my tactics, if you will. Um, and and that is, um, this is going to tie back into the, 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 the Lordstown segment that we did. Um, when you're booking these sites, check their cancellation policy. So what we will find a lot of times, Jay, is, and this happened in your area, was we're, we're planning to come there this summer. Um, I left a couple messages and some of these offices aren't open now or they're on reduced hours because of the COVID pandemic and sometimes the ones that call me back first are not our first choice if that makes sense so yes. it's kind of like your prom date the, the one that you want to go to the dance with your number one choice may not be the one that says yes first so find out the cancellation policy, right? Like Lordstown, right? Like just see if you can get that paper order and how much it costs to cancel. Um, right. If there's not a steep penalty, like a lot of them will let you cancel up until like a week before or 48 hours before and you get a full refund. Or maybe they'll charge, they'll keep $10. RV sites are hard enough to find nowadays that I will go ahead and register for a couple and then just cancel one of them after i have all the details of the trip worked out right it I mean, makes sense you got yeah. plan you got you got plan a plan b and you've always got to have those in place you may even need a plan c and that's yeah. that's pretty important i think to bring up and it's you your know? right to know their cancellation policy if you're going to prepay a reservation even if you're not there's no harm in asking them hey, what's your cancel things happen things happened in a big way last year where we had reservations to some of these places for summer camping and then everybody got shut down well the unforeseen can happen it's not unreasonable to ask what the cancellation policy is so so that's sort of my yeah, final right. tip on booking these things sometimes you have to do that and you maybe can only get one for a couple days but at least you can go ahead and book that while you're working on something else right that's it that's it awesome stuff man and i i i gotta say to my my brother-in-law hey here's your rv segment dude 